why do all these people suck? If you've ever said, my teammates suck, my opponents are ball chasing idiots, or I don't understand why I'm stuck at this rank, this video is for you. Check this out. Our Diamond 2 ranked friend here on Reddit says, to start off, it's not me. These teammates are just horrible. The most my teammates can do is miss the ball. I just want to rank up. Oh boy. We're just going to break this one down from a fundamental standpoint so you understand if you're watching why this guy will never rank up. And I'm going to explain to you what's holding you back more than any mechanic or any teammate possibly could. First off, victim mentality. Before you even get into ranked, he's saying, I solo queue this much of the time because no one responds to LFG posts. Okay, let me give you the number one rule of how to fail. Give power to other people and blame everything but yourself. Before this guy even gets into rank, he's tilted because he thinks the world has it out to get him and he can't get teammates because no one responds to LFG posts. Clearly he's not in our Discord group, but secondly, it's never the world. If everybody in the world is responding to you the same and nothing is changing, then maybe instead of pointing your finger out at the world and saying the world is the problem, you look at the common denominator and say, huh, nobody wants to queue ranked with me. I wonder why nobody wants to queue ranked with this guy. Give that some thought. That sounds like a you problem. I'm not trying to make fun of this guy and we're going to anonymize his name because I think that's important. But I I want this to be a learning moment for you guys. The world is not out to get you. The ranked ladder is not out to get you. And no, it's not that the other team always gets good teammates, but your teammates are always bad. Sometimes you will get shit teammates, but on average, your rank is an accurate reflection of your skill. I know this is hard to stomach and it's been hard for me to stomach because I've been hard stuck grand champ for as long as I can remember, but I know it. I know it's me. I know the reason I'm not at SSL is not because I deserve SSL, it's because I don't deserve SSL. And if I deserved SSL, I would get it. Point is, there is always something you can improve on. And even if it is your teammate's fault in one game, nothing productive happens from you saying it's your teammate's fault every game and taking that mentality everywhere you go. Because then at that point, you're the problem. Lack of self awareness. When you're solo queuing, it's easy to spot the mistakes in others. But the truth is, if you're at the same rank as your teammate, you're making just as many mistakes. You might just not see them. <laughs> I ain't seen nothing. Matter of fact, I'm blind in my left eye. On that note, if you're looking for teammates to point out your mistakes to you and be honest with you, I actually run Rocket League's number one free improvement discord. We've got over 50,000 members. It's called the Grand Champ Bootcamp Free Edition. And you can go there for free looking for group channels and to find teammates to voice chat with when you queue ranked. Or if you're a serious competitive player and you're mature and you're 18 plus years old, you should also know I started a paid matchmaking service called the Grand Champ Bootcamp Unlimited, where we pair you with a professional coach that can tell you exactly what you're doing wrong and how to fix it. So whether you're looking for free options or you're interested in our more expensive paid programs, join the Discord and DM me with the keyword suck. So I know you came from this video and we can talk details because there's something in here for everybody. And as a bonus, we're giving away free one week trials just to anybody who qualifies for this month of May. Meaning when this video goes live, there will be just five days left to claim a free week of coaching. I'll have my Discord first link in the description below and back to the video. Not playing to your level. And wait, this actually reminds me of a coaching session I was doing yesterday. So check out some of this footage. By the way, I give free coaching sessions away to the most active community members. And so point is he's grand champ one, champ three goes up and down. What was happening was his champ teammates were being champ teammates and pushing up into the corner way too much on defense. What he did was he just kept pushing up. And as you can see by the clip here, pushing up two players into your corner in champ is going to get you scored on. And he was asking me how I would play differently than him and what's holding him back and keeping him in grand champ one. And here's what I told him. The main thing that I'm using, like if you just want the simplest rule, it's where's my teammate? If my teammate is in the corner already covering this, I do not also need to be in the corner. I don't care if he has the ball, if he doesn't have the ball, if you know he's zero boost, if you don't know he's zero boost. 
If you see your teammate in the corner, you don't go in the corner with them in 2v2. You just don't do that. I'm not saying this to put Finn on the spot. I'm using this as a teaching moment because I make this mistake and we've all been there. So I want you to actually take a lesson from this. The lesson is you have to play to your level. Meaning if you're a champ and your champ teammates are doing bad rotations in the corner and pushing up too far, sometimes it's going to make you awkward and it's going to ruin your rotation. But what you shouldn't do is let their bad decision make you make a bad decision. Bottom Bottom line is you need to play to your level and compensate for your teammates. I know what you're thinking, Luke, that doesn't work at my rank. What do you know? You've been grand champ for five years. You're out of touch. Maybe, or maybe I did multiple road to grand champs publicly on YouTube. And if you go watch them, what you'll see is this is exactly what I use to rank up to grand champ whenever I do one with little to no mechanics. Fixed mindset or defining yourself with a label. After coaching hundreds of players, I've heard the terms, I'm an aggressive player, or I'm a game sense player, more times than I wish I have. Bro, that was a double wumble combo wumble burger fake, bro. When you label yourself, I'm a passive player, you're almost forcing yourself to play in a box. Sorry, oh, I'm sorry, don't hurt me, sorry. Meaning when you get into a ranked game and there's a decision that's 50-50, if you say you're a passive player, you're gonna go for the more passive option. And that's not right. You need to go for the option that's the correct answer or the highest percentage play. So for example, if your teammate is continuously going for the ball, he's ball chasing. I'm not fucking leaving. The show goes on. And you wanna go for the ball, it should be your turn. But your diamond or champ two teammate is still going for the ball, do you just cut them off and say, it's my turn. I deserve to go for the ball. Let me, let me get it. No, you only get to go when it's your turn and when it's best for your team. The point is play style shouldn't be a permanent thing. It should be liquid, you know, be like water or whatever Bruce Lee said. Be water, my friend pushing blame to your teammates. It's easy to jump to conclusions, especially when things don't go your way. This game is so effing horrible. Freaking about to lose my effing mind, bro. I know for me, when I get scored on, I almost instantly ask myself, what was my teammate doing there? Why would he commit for the ball, et cetera, et cetera. But every time I catch myself saying this, I pause because taking ownership is the difference between good players and great players. So was it your teammate's fault? Maybe, but can you control them? No. So control what you can control, which is obviously only yourself. You're staying too long in the play. In solo queue, a confused teammate is a bad teammate. So what you might not realize is your teammate is actually good. You're just confusing them. When your teammate sees very obviously that you're going for the ball in front of them, or that you're just being very clear with how you're moving around the field, it makes their decision-making easier and therefore better. You can't rely on your teammates to read your car language or body language or whatever we want to call this. Viewing mistakes as end all rules. Rocket League might be one of the hardest games to master. And so if your teammate makes a mistake or you make a mistake, it might not be that you're just all shit players. It might be that Rocket League is hard and everyone who plays Rocket League makes mistakes. If the pros who have been playing Rocket League for 20,000 plus hours, if they're still making mistakes. But he scores that on his own net? Things go from bad to worse for Luminosity Gaming. This one, nutty. <laughs> I promise you, your diamond lobbies are riddled with them too. Mistakes are part of Rocket League, so the less judgmental and critical you can be on your teammates about their mistakes and about yourself, the better the vibes will be with yourself and your teammates, and you're gonna perform better. So to give you something actionable that you can do after you watch this video, next time you go into ranked and you make a mistake, say my bad, say sorry, say whoops, my fault. Whatever you wanna do, after you make a mistake, own up to it. I promise owning up to the mistake will not just help your mentality, but it will also help your teammates' mentality. As always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. How to rank up in competitive games, the winning mentality. I've been saying this for seven years. What was it? Saying uh, you get the worst teammates or blaming things on other, other elements? Because when you play a game, all you can do is improve how you play.